I've won Messi Coda back again with another Unity Asset Store review. This time we're checking out the Game Kit Controller from 2 Cubes. It's coming on a May Madness sale, $28. Normal price is $40. You get vehicles. That even shoot. You get NPCs. Oh, I need to learn how to drive better. You get third person and first person controller. We can, we can fly, we've got jetpacks. Hey, there's so much in this pack. I don't think I've even scratched the surface, to tell you the truth. There's just so much to play. So sit back, enjoy. I will see you guys in a second. Oh my word. And before we do pop in, I just want to tell you that this Friday, that is May the 4th, we have Jason Booth, the legendary creator of Microsplat and Megasplat, live on the Twitch stream, all the w's.twitch.tv slash the messy coder. We're going to be talking about Microsplat, Megasplat. We're going to be talking about shaders. We're going to be talking about Unity 2018, the render pipeline. Can we expect how's that going to affect us and are we finally going to have unity as the unreal killer that we all hoped that one day it would become so sit back enjoy and i'll see you in a second Right, here I am inside Unity. I've imported in the game controller kit from 2Cubes. Currently on sale, 30% off its retail price. Normally it's $40. On the main madness, it's $28. And it requires Unity 2017.1 or higher. So what have we got here? We've got a third person and a first person controller. We've got um, AI included in here. We've got save and load. Um, there's magic, jetpacks, vehicles loads of stuff i mean and there's integrations if we add look here there's integrations with emerald ai as well that just you know blows my mind this is i've never really heard of this before i heard about this just recently i was browsing through the asset store i came across it 2015 this came out and its last update was april the 2nd 2018 at the time recording this um which was just last month so if you're watching this in the future you realize that it's recently been updated from the time I was reviewing. So why is this not so well known? I contacted the dev and I was wanted to have a play. Uh, I actually would be good if I loaded up a demo. Scene. So let's open up combat powers mode. So it's third person, first person, loads of stuff. Let's click play. All right, so let's see, click play. Why, is, why have I only just heard about this? Um, okay, first things first, I see the art in this pack is awful. And oh look, I've got footsteps. So it's this is this is obviously a pack for coding. This is a coding pack. This is not an art model pack. So that's the first thing. That's the first thing I see immediately loading this up. Okay, F1 to show controls. Wow, that's a lot of controls. Okay, that is a lot of controls. Um, am I going to remember these? I don't think so. So, ooh, what was that? Someone shooting someone? What's going on? Um, T to grab objects, Q to activate a shield, G to aim, gravity on off. Wow. Um, return projectile shield, fires left mouse, power show power slots, OP next power, naught to nine change powers. Wow. Okay, weapon controls on the right hand side. This was all the power controls. Weapon controls, same like G, aim, Y to draw, keep. Aim is right mouse button, fire is left mouse button. Drop weapon, next weapon. All right. Okay, bullet time. We've got bullet time. And crouching. V, change camera mode. Nice. How's the controller feel? Feels good, turning feels good. That was nice. Turning, it turning, feels like he's alive and he's not gliding on ice. What's the first person controller like? Okay, that's a shield, so there's no and ease picking stuff up. So there's no um, peeking left, peeking right, jumping. Oh, just jumped on something. Crouching, your general first person controller stuff. E to take. I thought I was picking up that one. I need to take a simple key. I need to pick up my gun. Alright, what's this? Oh! So what was that? Was that my power? Might be my power. What's this? Scrolled my mouse. Oh, 
pick that's health. Don't need health. Um, can't pick up this. Obviously, I've oh! okay. That power makes things go boomy boom. What about this? This is push power. Yeah, push power. Oh dear, something's gone over there. My boys need my help. AI, all at it. Armed friend, and these enemies are just sitting there. Why aren't you doing anything? Okay, what's that do? Um, and then linking with that. All right. Ouch. Are you right? Is I don't think he's all right. What's this one do? Nothing. Oh. Okay, that killed him, and he vomited out all his loot. What about this one? Oh. I made some kind of vortex. Wow. Okay. That's my mate. Shall I shoot my mate? There, let's go over here and shoot my mate in the head. Um, hello? You okay? He seems to be judging me. Don't judge me. Right. Why to draw... Oh, hang on. Why to draw a weapon? Let's do V. Where's my weapons? I want to draw weapons. Oh, I'm in the powers demo. Silly me. Okay. Like, why can't I draw a weapon? It's because I'm in the wrong demo. Right, let's get in our car. Choo choo. Okay. Choo choo is not a car, a train, it's a car. Now, if we go to V. Whoa, my hands are moving. Okay, turn the car around. You can look, look, you can see my guy moving. See, you can make a GTA game of this. Whoa! Map, there's a, there's a map up there. You, you could actually easily... Oh, I'm stuck. You can make a GTA game of this. Let's get out. This is tasty. There's so much potential in this pack. Um, I Oh, look. As I inventory. Use, equip, chop, combine. Um, combine. Use. Use my key. You can't use this object here. So look, this the UI is awful as well. Um, it's got touch options. Oh! What'd you shoot me in the face for? You're my friend! Is that the one I beat up earlier? He didn't like that, did he? He did not appreciate that one bit. Came back to shoot me in the head. And there's an enemy turret just sitting there not doing anything. AI is not the most advanced thing in the world, but he knew that I was naughty to him. All features are enabled in this demo. Let's go straight to that one. Let's go straight to that. So what do I think? I think there's a lot of potential in this pack. A lot of potential. It's um, aesthetically, it's awful. It really is. But it's got loads. Um, we've got exit, exit home, input control, show controls, next page. Wow. This this is why this this is probably why I haven't heard about this because there's no one asset flipping this, is there? There's no one going around asset can't pick it up. Like, there's oh I've gone into slow motion. There's no one asset flipping this, so nobody knows about it. That's pretty much what's going on, isn't it? Let's be honest. Got what was that jetpack that we had earlier? Jetpack. Uh, F1 show controls. Gravity F and R and F. Let's try that. And what was that? Punch. Punch and kick. Punch and kick. Oh, that's shooting. Why can't I punch and kick? Told me that I could. But why? Put a gun away. Punch and kick? No. F1. C to change the touch controls. I shouldn't do that. J, change player mode. J, player mode. Fly mode. Jetpack mode. Oh! Jetpack! Jetpack! That's quite cool. Um, okay, what was those options? J. And fly mode. Okay, fly mode needs a lot of work. Oh, wow. This is, this is awful. Wow, fly mode is really bad. Wee. Yeah, that is terrible. Okay. Normal mode. That was quite cool. 
What is sphere mode? I'm a, oh, I'm, I'm turning into a ball. Okay, that's freaky. We could do some kind of marble game. Wee marbles. Up here? Nope. Okay, I'm not. I'm not very good as a marble. Turns out. Oh, here you go. Whoa, this is. Okay, I'm gonna make a marble game. Wait, I'm a. I'm some kind of weird marble. Is there? There's probably other games already out there like that, isn't there? So, let's do J. Let's go back. Let's go to normal mode. Here he is. Okay, we got. Oh, look! Attack! Attack, everyone! Attack! Okay, I've told everyone to attack. Are they doing anything? No, they don't seem to be doing. Oh, whoa! What did I walk into? Wow. Okay, that's, I've gone into some kind of weird teleporting thing. That's freak. I'm upside down. <gasps> Why? What is, what is the gravity? R and F. F. Ah! Oh! Okay, I've turned the gravity back on. Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, gravity off! Oh, that, took a little, that took a little bit of damage. Okay, let's choose our weapons. Y. Now, that... See, I, I spoke earlier to the developer when it came with weapons and animations. Because these are the only thing that I saw previously this thing and I did go what the hell am I looking at and he said he's updating the pack he's working to get better animations better mechanism for taking your weapons out from behind your back but yeah he's doing the Vogue or something that is just bizarre but there we go jump 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 Leroy okay. AI Oh, nice slow motion kill. Oh, he's taking ages. Oh, did we just kill ourselves? No. That's it. Oh, that was my own turret. Why is my own turret trying to kill me? Come on. Splash, splash, splash. You've got surface noises. No. Metal. Wood. All your standard ones that you'd come to expect and love. Let's get some health. Lovely. It's more like it. Oh, everyone's dead. Makes you feel bad, doesn't it? So, um, yeah. I'm not going to do a review because I really need to delve into the code. But this has got so much potential. It's really got me thinking, what am I going to do with this kit? And I'm amazed. I've only just heard about this recently. Literally. Recently. This came out in 2015. I'd never heard about it. Why? I'm going to assume because he just looks so bad. But there's so much potential in this kit. There really is. You can make a GTA game quite easily. We've got a map, we've got vehicles, we've even got jetpacks and AI. Albeit not the most intelligent AI in the world. But it does say he's got integration with Emery. So, oh, that was a nice handbrake turn. We've got footprints, which honestly could be better. But at least they're in there, so he's making an effort. Right, before we go and go load up another demo scene, just want to show you this cool stuff. We've got a hoverboard, so I can do stunts and things. My mate keeps following me around. We've got, here we go, zoom up. We've got this hover car. It's got a gun on it. Can we get in? No, we just want to get in. We've got a hover car. This hover car's got a gun on it. It's a bit hard to control. That's pretty cool. There's a lift there that goes up and down. Alright, we've got... Here we've got our motorbike. Our mate jumps on the back of it. It's got guns on the front of it. It's got guns on it. What about guns? This is pretty cool. We can make a GTA game quite easily with this kit. We've got bikes, we've got hover cars. Even GTA didn't have hover cars. Hoverboards? GTA didn't have hoverboards either. What have we got here? Crate vending machines. Mobile vending machines, motorbike vending machines, hoverboard vending machines. See? Loads of fun stuff. What if we've got ramps? That's what this is. Yeah, look, we're flying in the air. So, if you want to have a game with motorbikes and AI and Jeeps, then I 
think this game, this game can keep control of somebody wipe your ammo. Oh, did we run out of ammo? Yeah, we had to pick up some ammo. Okay, let's get out. Right, let's try not. Oh, mate, mate. Oh, oh, he just got his head chopped off with that laser. Oh, I feel bad for him now. Oh, I'm so sorry. And we just ran over his head as well. All right, let's check out another demo. Let's check out this mansion demo. Don't save. Squeaky chair time. Okay, we're in the mansion. Let's click play. What have we got in the mansion demo? All right, here we are in the demo scene for the mansion. Got fixed, disable, camera. All right. Let's pick up this key. All right, so the camera's... Okay. Hang on, let's go back and... Now what does this do? Now we go in. Oh, okay. Now it's got like cameras that get triggered depending on where we're standing. Let's save. Nice. Lovely. And... Let's... Um, honestly, it's a nice gimmick. But it's, I can't use it. It's just making me dizzy. So let's go back and push this button. Oh, thank God for that. Okay. This is more like it. This, I like, I like this. This camera, the like, controller he's got. This is nice. So, 159. 159. Yay. Okay, it's a slider. Oh, that door nearly smacked me in the face. So... I like this. For $40, if you ignore the artwork, I think I think it's actually a bargain at $40. Uh, $28 on sale, 30% off. For the car controller, for the third person and first person, the anti-gravity, the jetpacks, the magic power thing. Did I say magic powers? Maybe I did. It just feels like you get so much for this for your money in this pack it's just a shame nobody knows about this game kit controller maybe everyone knows about it i'm the only one who's done but i've never heard anyone talk about this game kit controller from two cubes i'm gonna say you are worth a punt oh i'm out in some weird garden okay so that's it for my playthrough i'm gonna recommend if you've got 28 dollars to spend and you're looking for a third person and third person controller with vehicles, possibly jetpacks, and that you can fly and um, a load of other shenanigans, then I think this is worth your money. So a massive thank you for Two Cubes for letting me play with his Game Kit controller. I did enjoy myself. It is awful to look out, but fun to play with. What a strange combination. And before I go, I just want to tell you what's happening on my stream this Friday, May the 4th. We're going to have Jason Booth with us, the creator, the legend behind Mega Splat and Micro Splat. He is the ultimate shader guru for Unity. He's going to be coming into the stream, talking to us about shaders, about the new render pipeline that's in Unity 2018, and what to expect, how it's going to impact us, and all the fun things we can get with Micro Splat. So that's going to be May the 4th. That's why all you Jedi's May the 4th be with you. 9 p.m. That's UK time. It's lovely. A bit of summertime right now. It's actually quite hot. Not too bad. That's 4 p.m. Eastern time, 3 p.m. Central time, 1 p.m. in the Pacific time over there. So, guys, if you do like these videos and you want to see more, click on that big, juicy red subscribe button down below to all your friends, your neighbors. That makes the code of is eventually he's going to be making some YouTube videos and he streams every weekend. So, if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.